And right back with the Breakfast on Plus TV Africa, GD Johnson will be joining us uh, for Off the Press. GD Johnson, it's good to have you join us this morning. I'm going to say compliment of the lady. season. I don't know why I'm saying that. This is January, you know, the 27th, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I mean, it, the, the season is over already. We're, we're, in, we're in reality. We're seeing life as it is. It's good to have you join us. Good morning, Mercy, and then good morning, Kofi. You know, it's the first time we are seen live. Um, over the past two weeks, we've done it via, via Zoom, but without with audio, my voice yeah. is alone because there was no light, there's no foil, and there's no way I could connect through audiovisual means. And today, I'm fortunate to be in Cardinal uh, for a program, and uh, that's why you, you see that um, I could join so it's a pleasure to, to have you guys and to see you guys. Happy New Year, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Yeah. Well, whenever you see someone newly, you just tell them Happy New Year. That's and okay. Kofi, you are looking fresh, yes. handsome, and messy, <laughs> as beautiful and prima as ever. Are you Thank sure? You. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Johnson. You're looking fresh, Kofi. This light matter and the fear matter is something that... Uh, we're still grappling with in, in, in Lagos. So those who have a lot of light, you know, maybe about 18 hours light, they now have to pay more, you know. Uh, we're paying more, way more than we used to pay. But we thank God for life. Well, we, we, we need to get to the crux of the matters r right away. And we have the punch newspaper in front of us this morning. I mean, looking at your screen, you see that paper. Mega churches, schools, bar old narrow notes payment offering. <laughs> Sounds like, you know, something that you know already. Uh, new notes shortage force banks to short ATMs. Customers demand extension. Reps threaten emphatically with arrest. In CCBN governor must obey summon. It was a conversation I and Kofi were having, uh, you know, before this time. Law professor sues CBN. NLC rides Buhari over deadline extension these are the riders you find underneath but just quickly we have another one says agia pays uh, 446 million dollars a jakuta judgment debt icpc arrest a former jam registrar talking about the issue of graft and a tribunal rules today please warn troublemakers the adeleke and oyetola's case now just before I move uh, there's also you know that picture that uh, shows what happened yesterday, the fire incident in Balogo market, where traders bemoan their losses as fire got Lagos market. I mean, it's such a difficult time. Petrol scarcity protesters block Lagos Benware Express, uh, Lagos Beni, I beg your pardon, Express. And uh, that's the much we can take, but uh, I think quickly, par tariff shortfall now 2.5 trillion naira, according to the federal government. All right, very quickly, the nation has the following headlines to take a few of them. Petrol crisis, PDP colluding with saboteur says Tinbu. Riders to that, a ticket trying to pit Tinbu against Buhari protesters uh, block Benin Lagos Road. Um, more from the nation CBN plans, all car transactions through Afrigo. Uh, we'll have a discussion on that later. Uh, Nigeria's elite are selfish, says Buhari. Uh, Nigeria's elite are uh, selfish. Pantami, 2.2 million jobs created in two years. Immigration processes, 9.3 million passports in seven years. So some of the headlines on the front page of the nation. We have the Daily Trust and candidates' blueprints cannot solve Nigeria's problems. That's what panelists are quoted to say. And two major parties lack ideology, identity or ideological identity, uh, manifestos are mere academic work. There are more desperados than Democrats among candidates, Kabiru Yusuf is saying. We have full confidence in INEC, the United States is quoted to say, oh well. Banks short of new notes as ATMs dry up. Reps tackle commercial banks over new currency policy. We are constrained by CBN guidelines banks executives i mean what exactly is going on uh, then you find we foiled 66 attempts to hack fec virtual meetings that's what the federal government is saying uh, what exactly would have happened if you know that was the case i mean who exactly is planning to hijack the federal executive council meeting 
Uh, troops neutralize 84 terrorists in uh, northeast and northwest, rescue 122 victims in two weeks. Death toll from Nasser war bombing increases to 40. This is according to Governor Sule. That's it this morning on the Daily Trust. Let's take the final one, which will be the Guardian, the big one in front, uh, on front page on your screen. There, stampede as Nigerians tackle CBN dead deadline on cash swap. Uh, Ogoni, after seven years, residents lament slow pace of cleanup. Um, youth protest as Buhari Commission's projects in Katsina. Uh, ICPC uncovers fresh evidence, rearrests ex jam registrar during day um talk about affliction rising a second time i didn't criticize buhari over fuel scarcity naira redesign only offered advice tenable clarifies some of the headlines on the front page of the guardian we'll look at them as we go on and time to uh, bring at this point um tunde uh, jda johnson sorry um senior lecturer at the nigerian institute of journalism um uh, Jude, the one that I think will uh, give us um, some <laughs> an interesting and not too um, serious uh, take will be the mega churches and schools, uh, according to the punching super, barring their members, uh, their customers from using the old narrow notes for school fees and for offering. And that's, that's quite interesting. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that, that's the major headline as far as the newspapers are concerned. But the real headline, it's worth the people, the downtrodden, the people in various communities, cities, and across Nigeria are facing. Um, commuters, um, commercial drivers, commercial buses are rejecting this money. Um, those that are selling goods and services. So, beyond the headline of of the two mega churches which is not nothing out of place you should expect that it has happened in the past if you go through the major headlines of newspaper anytime we have issues with currency currency change or what have you the churches will tell you not to come to to church um with that and schools will not collect it as school fees but the reality on ground is that it's beyond the churches and the various schools is the reality that is going on on every street on every neighborhood and in every buses and every transaction that is going all across Nigeria. I'll tell you, we are, we are here in Kaduna for a major program and all of us were, are, 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 are in the middle class. We all dispensed of, of all um, the old Naira note that we have because the feeling you get is that nobody is collecting it. Nobody is collecting it. And I listened to the interview of the president when the president said it was three months, three months that um, that was given, and that that three months should have been sufficient enough. But were policies put in place to enhance the efficiency or to affect the efficiency of this new policy? I'll tell you. Last week Friday, I went to the bank and I make a transaction that running two hundred thousand of naira. I was given. Old, old thousand bills and the bills were dirty they were they were torn and i was i went to the bank i to, to a major bank and i said why should you say oh we have not been supplied with the new naira note so i think that um, we didn't put in place a, a well oil um, system that would effect the transition from the old notes to the new notes no no but so, uh uh johnson i mean what's the sense and what's the ideology behind having a deadline for the withdrawal of i mean the usage of the old notes and then not having the new notes in circulation what's what's the ideology behind this uh, that that's what that's what i don't understand in great britain you know it is it is the portrait of the of the of the of the king or the queen of the royal that is is used now that of Charles will be used to replace his mom and it's a gradual process it's a gradual process i think that um sometimes we we, we carry out policies without looking at the logistics of, of of effecting that policy the policies are good is with good intention 
But the execution, when you have good policies and the execution is flawed, you have challenges. It, the bottom line is that the, the, these new NARA notes were not, the banks were not having enough of it. What central bank governor should have, what central bank, let me talk about the governor, what the central bank should have done is to have given this bank enough, color. you know the money in circulation. The central bank is in charge of monetary policy. You know the daily transactions of all the banks. You know the volume of transactions we made. So you make available that beyond those that are keeping money at home, beyond those that have access back to the to, to, to the banks. There are people that do come through the normal means, they go through the back door. And those ones are the first line of attention, the first line of people you deal with. The majority of the people that come through the front door are the ones suff suffering the consequences of this logistic problem that we have with with with, with central bank. And it's the same logistic problem you have with CBA, uh, with, with, with the petroleum distribution. And it's the same logistic problem you have with with election materials being distributed to the various to the various polling units across the nation. Just wait until February twenty fifth when we begin to monitor the elections that begin to talk. you see that we have this logistic problem. And you ask yourself, do we need rocket science to solve basic logistic problem? You don't need rocket science. All you need to do is to have your facts and your facts are gotten from data. Your facts are the interpretation of your data. Those facts are evidence. Those evidences should guide your decision making. So it's, 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 it's purely simple. It's not rocket science. Or, or maybe it's also uh, another ploy to reduce the money that we have in circulation and also reduce uh, the rate of spending. Do you think that there might also be uh, no, that intention of should, CBI? Should we have, should we have large amount of money in circulation when we have cashless policy. There have been various policies that have been put in place in the past by this present central bank governor, by this administration of this present central bank governor and the previous central bank governor. What's the essence of the PVN? What's the essence of, of, of the volume of transaction you can make? It's a cashless policy. But you know I said it on this program. It is the same government that says we run cashless policy that floods it because it is government and public officials that go to the bank and collect large amount of volume of money. Who are those that first protested? When the daily limits and the weekly limits and the monthly limits were, were issued by the central bank government, who are those? Who are the governors? If you do transactions with, with state government, if you do transactions even with some ministries, they pay you in cash. That's the truth. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you've made a, a, a point there. I mean, that's a, a, an allegation from your part. But we have to quickly make good time uh, with a, a couple of other stories before we, we say goodbye to you. Uh, staying on, on the on with the nation, the front page, a big one there. The All Progressives Congress presidential candidate, uh, Bola Tinubu, is saying that um, the PDP is colluding with saboteurs to... Uh, cause the petrol crisis in the country, you know, is what he's saying. So, invariably, he's saying that the petrol crisis right now is artificial and is uh, a sabotage, you know, to enable PDP win the forthcoming general elections. Well, you have asked me a question, and I'll, first and foremost, this is a spin. They are trying to correct um, a major. Um, Fulgian slip from the presidential candidate. That's 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 a, that's that's a spin to what was said, to what we heard, and to what we saw. We both listened to 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 to, to that stump pitch by by the presidential. All right. All right. Um, I think uh, a, a call may have come through his device, but. Uh, Okay, Jerry Johnson will, will get back to us. Yeah, okay. If you are saying, hear me. Absolutely. Yeah, if they are saying that it's PDP that is colluding with, with, with saboteurs, then it shows gross, gross incompetence on the part of the APC government, on the part of Minister of Julia. Whichever way they look at it, they are still, um, there's a spare on the president because the president is the Minister of Petroleum and 
the minister uh, is the minister of petroleum is in charge of the one in charge of the petroleum ministry if they are sabotaging sabotaging his effort when it comes to that it shows that probably there's incompetence or incapacity on the part of whoever is managing the petroleum industry and we all know who is managing the industry but i think that uh, blaming pdp concerning the petroleum product is just playing to the gallery the man said what he said and what he said is clear for an average man on the street to interpret it's just a spin they are trying All right. Do we still have you, Jide Johnson? And we teach them. So it's just a spin. So as far as I'm concerned, how will PDP be responsible? The government has been in administration for the past eight years. In 2015, they blamed 16 years of PDP. So uh, APC government has spent eight years. So they should talk about the eight years of their government and not blame PDP on this. As far as Nigeria is concerned, the blame game should stop. Just is our problem solve our problem before coming to Kadna, i knew how i came for an hour to buy fuel and i bought the fuel i bought the fuel all right we, we may um, take the next next paper yes so I, apparently gd johnson we probably have to just uh, you know let this slide uh for today unfortunately the network has not been favorable and we can't say that that's attributed to your uh you know we can't attribute that to your location we can't say but hopefully we hope that we we get some better time to talk more about you know more uh, national concerns and issues on the papers uh thank you so much coffee we have to go all right uh, we'll be right back after a break of course look at the moves of uh, the move by the cbn to um, you know, uh, take charge as far as uh, card transactions and payments are connect, concerned with the new, um, you know, scheme launched called Afrigo. Quite interesting. We'll try to find out what this means and uh, the effect it will have on business transactions in Nigeria. Stay with us. <laughs> 